Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. We are creating hell. This is The Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week it's, this week uh, it's a buffet, buffet show. Buffet. It's a buffet show this week. This week we have caribou, turkey, mule deer. Yep. And a hog. Hogs. 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 A hog. And don't forget, this week's lucky logo. It's McKinsey. McKinsey 3D targets. The ultimate 3D targets. Wow. That was nice. I should be like a narrator. Today's, today's show, folks, we are having the buffet show. You said buffet. I know. Wow. Because they would normally say it, because normally they're, the narrator's pretty smart compared to me. Okay, so if you see the McKinsey logo, then at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with it. So now let's just get into your Quebec hunt, a My mirage. mirage caribou hunt. Yes. Shall we do that? Where I hit him where it hoits. I'm just... You're full of it today. I'm snappy. He's I'm just clever. full of it today. <laughs> Yes, we are creating hell with the Hellraiser. Yes. Oh yeah. Hey. Nice bull. Look at the These tops. Well, unbelievable. You know the hunting has not been like it has been in the past. Yeah, we've had better seasons, but still, I mean, some animals are there. And anyway. I mean, it's just persistence, and actually, I mean, just sticking with it, thanks to you, Ben. Well, I mean, you've put your share into it. And I mean, the wind, just things just wouldn't cooperate. Mm -hmm. And finally, a plant came together, and, and we got a magnificent bull, beautiful hide, beautiful shape. You know, I mean, he's just, he's everything you want on this type of hunt, great bezes, Good tops. Good tops. He's got a kicker here. He's just a beautiful bull. Everything worked out. I shot him at about 12 yards away, I think. I think that's what Not it was. Not any further, Ralph. No, mm. no. Hey, snappy man. Thank Congratulations you. Thank on you your caribou. That's yes. pretty cool. Very good. Congrats. Thank you. Was it close enough? Was that caribou close enough? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't go anywhere because when we come back from this commercial break, we have Bill Ball, one of our posse. He's going to go hunting hawks down in Florida with Uncle Hoppy. <laughs> Don't forget to look for the lucky logo this week. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Welcome back. Welcome nice back. caribou, huh? That was a nice caribou. Now we're going to go join Bill down with Uncle Hoppy. Yes, we're going to go join Bill Ball down at Hoppy yes, Kemper's uh, Poss Osceola Outfitters. Poss as they Bill are, uh, Ball, and he's going to go hog hunting. hunting. Let's go on down and hog down, darling. That's it, stop. <laughs> we glass some pigs on this road here uh, a couple of days ago. They were coming out and feeding on this road right here. Um, one of them looks like a, a nice shooter hog, a nice eating hog. So uh, we're going to give it a little time here and see what happens. But they've been coming out here every day, so cross your finger. There they come. That looks like a good eater. was pretty intense. We just had a group of pigs come in here. We've been watching them for about 20 minutes. There was a mama pig with a bunch of little bitty ones. And then another pig that uh, didn't have any young ones. You could tell it wasn't uh, nursing. So uh, I, think it was a, I think it was a pretty good hit. Maybe back just a touch, but I think it's a good hit. She is. Yes. <laughs> wow. Nice little eating pig. Look at this little guy. Nice. Very nice. Little sow. Uh, didn't have any piglets with her. And uh, she actually got a, some little tusks on her right there. Shot's a little better than I thought it was. I thought it was a little further back. But uh, we like to shoot them right in that pocket right there, right in this area. It was back three or four inches. But uh, I want to say thanks to Hoppy and all the crew here at Osceola Outfitters. It's been a great hunt so far. This is a working ranch, so uh, it's important to keep these pigs thinned out because they do a lot, a lot of damage to these pastures around here. So thanks, Ralph and Vic. Let's see if we can uh, get back out this evening and hopefully get lucky again. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is, you know, for a lot of people who shoot a peep sight, one of the biggest complaints that we hear across the board is, you know, I just can't see out of it out of low light conditions. Well, here's a new type of version, actually a string splitter. So now it's not a complete encapsulated aperture it comes here you serve it in just like you would any other peep sight you make sure it's aligned with your loop so when you draw it back it's perfectly even but what this does is it allows you to grab way more of your peripheral I mean it just opens up everything and that will help you in those low light situations that is your bow hunting world tip of the week don't go away, we'll be right back. And Bill, congratulations on that congratulations. hog. Congratulations. You see the damage those hogs do? I Man. know, it's unbelievable. But when we come back, Joey. It's Joey's turn. Joey, Joey, his Joey, first Joey, bird bag of with donuts. His bow. Yeah. Okay. And does he bag one? Ooh, time will tell. You must Joey, stay Joey, bag tuned. of donut, bag of bird? Yeah. You know, Is I had. Is that a... fast? It's a commercial bump. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, now we're going to go watch Joey out of his choice blind. Ow, 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 ow try to get his bird. Yeah? Yes, that's Did stuck. you have any rules about everyone having to be back in turkey season? Yeah, they have to be back by nine o'clock. Are you having problems, Stan? I'm, I'm tripping, the storms are biting me. This is like, ouch. All right, well, let's get to Joey's bird. What are you doing? You're scaring me. Ooh. Did he get you? Yep. Right.
first see this blind you may think those birds can see you sitting in this blind because when you're looking out you can see everything full 360 no problem that decoy is about four paces away that bird came on this side of the decoy I drew everything else and just smoked them right there let's find my arrow <laughs> thank you Napoleon I know we got an arrow in the ground here ah, right here <laughs> I did put a good shot on him. Maybe a Jake, but it's mine. This is uh, two days to the end of my season. We just got back from British Columbia filming and uh, we came out this morning. I figured if we're gonna do it, we got today or tomorrow to do it and uh, we did it. I can get back in the office and get some work done. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations, Joey. Thanks, my first bird. Now I can see why they get addicted to turkey hunting. Well, after this morning, Ralph, I'll tell you one thing. That may be my first one, but I don't think it's the last one. Congratulations, Joe, on your first turkey. Can you believe it? Out of the choice blind with your Hoyt, and you were back to the studio by nine? Man, this wind's really blowing. Now, you don't want to go anywhere because Chris Probst, those are called props in the TV world. <laughs> you don't want to go anywhere because Chris is heading up to Alberta and he has an opportunity at a monster mule, mule deer. Okay, Vic, you can stop now. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Hey, now we're going to join Chris Probst up in Alberta. And he's on what we're going to call the railroad buck because it's just ups and downs and Railroads highs and lows. And they could in hilly, hilly land, Roller coaster mountainous regions. Down. In Alberta, in the prairies. Should we just get in? I'm walking Alberta. <laughs> hey, don't you want to watch this hunt? This is awesome. Chris's mule deer hunt. He's out there. He has his ups, his downs, his highs, his lows. Check it out. Wait for me. No. Well, we're about 85 yards from the tracks. The buck is just over the top, maybe 25, 30 yards. So we can tuck the trickiest part is going to be there's a lot of rock on that railroad bed getting on top of it to shoot him so without making any noise. bad luck you can get I mean had that stalk yesterday and then now we're 40 yards from the buck he's just over this edge 25 yards and a railroad truck pulls up well, there he goes
don't know what to say, I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty aggravated. He was right there. Hey Chris, it's what hunting's all about, the ups, the downs, and the in-betweens. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm really shaking. I shot, and I just—he goes aim hard, aim hard, and I'm, I'm I just like, kept saying it. like this, and I finally held my breath. And then the pin got him, and it set real good, and just, poof, it went off, and it flew like a dog. Oh my drill. gosh, dude, <laughs> that was awesome. That was a good spot. Oh my god, he started working his way right up here. He was feeding and raking brush, then I popped on him, and then I drilled him. Give me some. My fathers and sons get to do this, man. That was awesome. We crawled up through the bottom. He said, Dad, he's right there and he's feeding up the hill. So we tiptoed back up this real deep drainage. We popped over the top and he's feeding right there. He was 65 yards and he freaking smoked him. What a stud. Mysterious. Look at that. <laughs> a little makeup for yesterday, huh? Oh, we got this deer yesterday and uh, we got on him yesterday and we, he was bedded right by a railroad track on the other side of it and uh, we were within 40 yards of him and a railroad car came down a truck to check the culverts and bumped him so we didn't get there. We were taking our shoes off. We spotted him this evening and came on and got on him and looky there, there he lays. 65 yards, I hit him good. Spitfire blew right through him. What an awesome, awesome day in Alberta. Hey Chris, one, first of all, one heck of a shot. Secondly, way to stick it out and shoot a monster mule deer. Yeah, that was awesome. Like you said, you know that whole railroad of emotions up and down? Oh, now you bring it up that I, I said Only something right. Only because I thought it was funny. <laughs> but hey, Chris, really, you did an awesome job. I mean, a lot of people would have just gave up at that point when that Great truck father came and by, son but team. yeah, 205 on that mule. Oh my Ouch. gosh. If you happen to see the lucky logo, which was McKenzie, 3D targets. That's right. You're going to log on to archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo, and fill out the information, and, and. And just maybe, just maybe, one of you happy viewers. No, one of them will, not well, maybe. Will. Okay, will win yeah. a McKenzie 3D target. There you go. Now you're getting it. Thank Good you. Job. Okay. Yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We hope to cut, see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.